Senate summoned CBN governor as Naira hit 1,520 Naira per dollar. The Senate has summoned the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Olayemi Cardoso, to appear before it on Tuesday, February 6, 2024, over the state of the economy and the free fall of the Naira. It was gathered that the Nigerian currency, the Naira, hit an all-time low of 1,520 Naira at the parallel market on Wednesday, January 31, 2024. Addressing journalists on Wednesday, chairman of the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and Other Financial Institutions, Senator Tokumbo Abiru lamented the current economic situation of the country. Abiru said the state of the nation's economy, especially the inflation index, was of great concern to the Senate. Abiru said, We have held a meeting this afternoon essentially to focus on the direction of the Nigerian economy. We are all living witness of what is going on. Underlining the major issue of the economy is the way the inflation index has been and of course it is a major concern to us. We have deliberated among ourselves critical issues we address and we believe that the next line of action is to summon the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria on Tuesday at 3 p.m to brief us properly on the state of the economy. That we have resolved and we will communicate to the governor of the central bank after which we have further communication with members of the press, he added. However, the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tarud Lagbaja, has ordered commanders and personnel of the Nigerian army to desist from further commenting on the issues of a detained corporal, Ruth Ogunleye, who accused some senior army officers of sexual harassment. According to a report from Sahara Reporters, it was reported that Ogunleye, a female soldier of the Nigerian army, had in a viral video accused two colonels and a brigadier general of sexual harassment, intimidation, and threat to life. On January 16, 2024, Sarah reporters reported that the female soldier had been arrested and flown to Abuja from Lagos. The lady who complained in the viral video about sexual harassment in the military has been arrested and moved to Abuja by air this morning. She was flown out accompanied by military police in Mufti from Lagos to Abuja, a top military source told Sahara reporters. The soldier serving in Lagos State, who did not disclose her name but later identified as Ruth, raised the alarm in the viral video that some senior army officers were threatening her life for rejecting their sexual advances. She lamented how the senior army officers whom she identified as Colonel I.B. Abdukarim, Colonel G.S. Ogo, and Brigadier General I.B. Solebo had been oppressing her since she was posted to Cantumen Medical Center Ojo in Lagos in 2022 for refusing their sexual advances. She said she had been locked up several times for no reason, ejected from her apartment and put in a psychiatric hospital for a month without any medication based on a false claim that she had a mental illness. After the video went viral, the army said it had begun an investigation into the alleged maltreatment. The army in a release by Major General Onye Mawachuku, the director of Army Public Relations, said the female soldier did not inform relevant bodies and institutions about her predicament before releasing the video. In a military signal obtained by Sahara reporters, 
the army chief asked commanders at all levels to caution personnel under their command to desist from making official comments on the allegations raised by the soldier. The internal memo dated January 29, 2024 was signed by Brigadier General P.O. Ali Meke on behalf of Lieutenant General Lagbaja. The name soldier of headquarters NAMC publicly raised allegation of maltreatment and act suggesting sexual harassment against three senior officers through her TikTok social media account. Accordingly, the COSA Vive reference a directed headquarters NACMP to conduct detailed investigation on the allegation raised by the soldier, it reads. To this end, I am directed to respectfully convey the COSA directives that no further official comments on subject should be made pending outcome of the headquarters NACMP investigation. Commanders at all levels are to please caution personnel under command to desist from making official comments on the allegations raised by the soldier. Meanwhile, sources recently told Sarah reporters that the military authorities arrested and detained Root claiming she is undergoing rehab but did not arrest the officer she accused of sexual harassment. They arrested the female soldier Root and claimed she was undergoing rehabilitation but left the senior male officers she pointedly accused of sexually harassing her alone, one of the military source told Sahar reporters. However, there is currently a civil war going on in the north between the Aousas and the Fulanese, according to Professor Yusman Yusuf. Professor Yusman Yusuf, a former CEO of the National Health Insurance Scheme, has drawn attention to the continuous civil unrest in the north that involves ethnic groups such as the Hausas, the Fulanese, and the Thieves. He emphasizes that it is impossible to expect the military to bring about peace on its own. He questioned the lack of religious leaders, elders, and traditional rulers, all of whom played an important role in promoting unity. He pushed for honest and open communication between the populace, stressing that the military cannot bring about peace in a community on its own, proposing that the responsibility for peace lies with the people. He acknowledged the military's effort in providing an enabling environment but urged a collective step back and a move towards demilitarizing the conflict, considering the sacrifices made by the armed forces on the battlefield. He said in an interview with Arise TV, We must tell our people to have an honest conversation. The military cannot bring peace to our community. Only we can do that. There is a civil war going on in the north between the Aousas and the Fulanese, between the Aousas and the Thieves, and we expect the military to bring peace. No. Where are our leaders? Where are our traditional rulers? Where are our clerics that sold the Muslim Muslim ticket? It is us that will bring peace. The military can only provide an enabling environment. They are doing a heck of a job. They are losing men and women on the battlefield, and we must step back and demetralized this conflict, he stated. However, the Taraba State Police Command on Wednesday reviewed the sources of a major operation to combat rising criminal activities in the state, parading a kidnapping campaign and other criminals arrested. Briefing journalists at the command's headquarters in Jalingo, the state capital, the Commissioner of Police, Joseph Eribo, highlighted the increasing security concern in the state, which include kidnapping, banditry, armed robbery, cattle rustling, and culpable homicide. 
He said the operation was on the directive of the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, who encouraged community-based and intelligence-led policing, parading the suspects, including suspected kidnappers, terrorizing Jaru Ghana, Yola Electricity Distribution Company Transformer Vandas, and suspected armed robbers. Erubo highlighted the importance of collaborating with vigilantes and other security agencies. He also announced the arrest of a notorious kidnapping gang leader, Badon Linus, who he said had confessed to leading a syndicate responsible for high-profile operations, including the kidnapping of the third-class chief of Popol, a pastor and others. In another operation, the anti-kidnapping squad, in collaboration with Vigilante, also arrested suspects connected to the recent kidnapping of five victims in Ronde village. He said a team of mobile policemen arrested one Aliyu Mohammed with a substantial amount of cash, phones, unused MTN recharge cards, and amulets, adding that the suspect attempted to bribe the police but was apprehended. He assured the public that the command remains committed to ensuring safety and security in the state and is prepared to deal decisively with any threat to peace.